परसेप्शन इंटेलेक्शन इमोशन एंड वोल्यूशन विच इज पी आई ई वी थेरी इन हाईवे इंजिनियरिंग लेट सी सम इम्पॉर्टेंट मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग दिस टॉपिक सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सेंग साइड डिस्टेंस मे गेट रिस्ट्रिक्टेड ड्यू टू ओके इट मे गेट रिस्ट्रिक्टेड ड्यू टू हॉरिजोंटल कर ओके इट मे गेट रिस्ट्रिक्टेड ड्यू टू वर्टिकल कर then it may get restricted due to uncontrolled intersection and thus since all the three options are right we will go with option d all of the above then absolute minimum side distance is generally known as stopping side distance okay absolute minimum side distance is equal to what ssd which is stopping side distance then side distance available for a driver depends on height of the object above the road surface for example this is the road surface this is the vehicle then if any object is there if any divider is there if any intersection is there whatever the object is in or is in front of him on the road surface it depends on that object's height okay then height of the driver's eye above the road surface the position of driver's eye above the road surface will also be responsible for available side distance then any feature of the road ahead whatever be the feature of the road ahead whether it is horizontal curve whether it is vertical curve whatever be the feature of the road ahead will also be responsible for available side distance for the driver that's why all of the above mention options are correct that's why we will go with option d then stopping side distance that is ssd do not depend upon okay is independent of what do it depend on total reaction time of the driver it does okay therefore it cannot be the option speed of the vehicle and brake efficiency stopping side distance is dependent of speed of the vehicle as well as brake efficiency of the vehicle therefore it cannot be the answer friction between the road and tires yes what is the amount of friction that is taking place in between the tire what is the condition of road have the tires been worn out or are the tires new all these factors are going to play a major role in deciding the stopping side distance available for the driver that's why this cannot be the option thereby we will come to a conclusion that none of the above options are here for dependency of stopping side distance okay option d is the one in pi ev theory time required to understand the situation c pi ev theory means p stand for perception i stand for intellection e stands for emotion time and v and v stand for volition time perception means receiving the present situation okay interpreting the given situation on the road is called as what perception intellection means understanding the given situation what's going on in front of the driver is his intellection time the time required to understand the situation is intellection time then emotion if the driver is angry if the driver has frightened if the emotion is fear then that specific time to digest that situation will be emotion time and volition time is the actual time that the driver takes in order to stop the vehicle means he will be applying brake he will be putting his pedal on the accelerator whatever decision he is taking comes under volition time therefore the time required to understand the situation will be intellection time means he will be putting his brain to use to understand what's going on in front of him it is what intellection then in pi ev theory time taken by the driver for the final action that is application of brake is what volition time this is the final stage in pi ev theory where the driver will be carrying out the physical action that is either he might be putting his foot on the accelerator or brake or he might take the necessary action to avoid the circumstances okay it is what volition time all right let's move yes if the brake efficiency is 100% for a vehicle then on application of brake what is going to happen 
द व्हेकल हॅज हंड्रेड पर्सेंट स्किडिंग प्रॉबेबिलिटी मीन्स द ब्रेक इफिशियन्सी शुड बी लेस मीन्स द ब्रेक शुड नॉट बी हंड्रेड पर्सेंट इफेक्टिव जस्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इमॅजिन इफ यू आर ड्रायव्हिंग अ बाईक इफ यू आर ड्रायव्हिंग अ कार अँड इफ यू put the disc brakes that is hydraulic disc brakes suddenly and the abs system anti brake lock system of your vehicle is off there are 100% chance that your vehicle is going to skid for that either the abs system should be on or the simplest solution for this is you should apply the brakes gradually if you apply the brake suddenly with full efficiency with 100% efficiency then your vehicle is going to get skid all right option b is the one then in order to avoid skidding what should be done yes we should apply the brakes gradually irrespective what kind of brakes you are using whether they are drum brakes whether they are hydraulic disc brakes you should apply them very very gradually then the second thing you should take care of is brake should not exceed braking force should not exceed frictional force between tire and the road yes if you the braking force is more than the friction value of tire and road then your vehicle is gonna skid that's why option a is right option b is right we will go with c okay coefficient of friction as suggested by indian road congress varies from memory question it is remember it 0.35 to 0.40 mu should be between 0.35 2.40 okay if v is speed of vehicle in meter per second f is design coefficient of friction small g is acceleration due to gravity then braking distance l in meter is given by remember it l is equal to v square divided by 2 into g into f okay the braking distance l in meter is given by what v square by twice gf okay Let's move to question number next. Okay, if Vt is lag distance in meter, V speed of vehicle in meter per second, F is design coefficient of friction, that is mu. Okay, then uh, G is acceleration due to gravity, then stopping side distance. Okay, stopping side distance on a leveled road is given by, it is standard formula, remember this, SD is equal to Vt plus V square by twice GF. Okay, S is equal to Vt plus V square by twice GF. Then, if Vt is lag distance again, V is speed of vehicle in meter per second, F is design coefficient of friction and G is acceleration due to gravity and N is gradient. Then, stopping side distance on a road is given by, remember it, SD or SSD is equal to Vt plus V square by twice G and we have to slightly modify this formula that we saw previously and we have to incorporate n that is gradient here it will be f plus minus 0.01 n okay then overtaking side distance do not depend upon okay they do not depend on what they do depend on speed of overtaking vehicle they do depend on speed of vehicle being overtaken they do depend on speed of vehicle coming from opposite direction but there is nothing to do for with speed of vehicle behind the overtaking vehicle okay speed of vehicle behind the overtaking vehicle has no role in deciding what is the overtaking side distance available all right let's move to question number next okay on a two way road having two way traffic if v is initial speed of overtaking vehicle t is reaction time v speed s is spacing a is average acceleration and t is equal to square root of 4s plus a then overtaking side distance is given by osd is given by this vb into t plus vb into capital t plus twice s plus small v into capital t okay remember standard formula is here then d1 is distance traveled by overtaking vehicle before overtake d2 is distance traveled by the overtaking vehicle during the overtake d3 is distance traveled by the one coming vehicle during the overtake then for divided highways for one way traffic regulation overtaking side distance is given by osd is equal to d1 plus d2 okay 
ओवरटेकिंग साइड डिस्टेंस इज गिवन बाय समेशन ऑफ डी वन एंड डी टू वेर डी वन इज डिस्टेंस ट्रैवल्ड बाय ओवरटेकिंग व्हीकल बिफोर द ओवरटेक एंड डिस्टेंस ट्रैवल्ड बाय एंड ओवरटेकिंग व्हीकल ड्यूरिंग द ओवरटेक ओके मिनिमम लेंथ ऑफ ओवरटेकिंग जोन शुड बी थ्री टाइम्स द सेफ ओवरटेकिंग साइड डिस्टेंस ओके रिमेंबर दिस मिनिमम लेंथ ऑफ ओवरटेकिंग जोन शुड बी थ्री टाइम्स द सेफ ओवरटेकिंग साइड डिस्टेंस सेफ ओ एस डी देन जनरली इंटरमीडिएट साइड डिस्टेंस इज प्रोवाइड एज टू टाइम्स एज दैट ऑफ स्टॉपिंग साइड डिस्टेंस ओके इंटरमीडिएट साइड डिस्टेंस आई एस डी इज इक्वल टू टू टाइम्स दैट ऑफ एस एस डी इंटरमीडिएट साइड डिस्टेंस इज ट्वाइस दैट ऑफ एस एस डी देन फॉर डिजाइन ऑफ साइड डिस्टेंस कंडीशन दैट मस्ट बी फुलफिल्ड फॉर सेफ्टी कंडीशन इज एनेबलिंग द अप्रोचिंग व्हीकल टू चेंज स्पीड येस दिस शुड बी डन एनेबलिंग द अप्रोचिंग व्हीकल टू स्टॉप येस दिस शुड बी डन एनेबलिंग द स्टॉप व्हीकल टू क्रॉस अ मेन रोड ओके दिस कंडीशन शुड ऑल्सो बी फुलफिल्ड देयर फोर वी विल गो विद ऑप्शन डी विच इज ऑल ऑफ द अब ओके ऑल ऑफ द अब कंडीशन शुड बी फुलफिल्ड फॉर डिजाइन ऑफ साइड डिस्टेंस ओके एट रोटरी इंटरसेक्शन द मिनिमम साइड डिस्टेंस शुड बी इक्वल टू सेफ स्टॉपिंग डिस्टेंस ओके वन टाइम्स ओके वन पॉइंट जीरो मीन्स इज इक्वल टू सेफ स्टॉपिंग डिस्टेंस so that was all about pi ev theory hope you learned something new if you like the video please press thumbs up comment what are your suggestions share the video amongst your friend and do subscribe to simplified learning for more such interesting videos